Welcome back adventurers. So today we decided to take another look at the Disney's Californian Hotel located at Disney Anaheim. Now this place is right across the street from the Disney Hotel, the iconic place, and it is adjacent to the Disneyland uh, Resort and California Adventure as well as Downtown Disney. Now this is our first time here. And just some brief information about the hotel. The to, in order to stay here, you have to pay about seven hundred to about a thousand dollars a night. And I will tell you that I think the price is pretty much worth it. I know last year we were in Hawaii, we stayed at one of the Disney Vacation Club suites, but uh, this is definitely reminiscent of the architecture and the layout there. Now it's definitely not like Alani, but it does give you some of the vibes. Now you can check out this nice, cool fireplace here. And uh, while you're staying here, they have a number of different cafes that you can attend to. Uh, you have the Storytellers Cafe, which is the one that we had here earlier uh, in the video. And then of course, we also have uh, several other venues where you can get brunch where they serve it all day. Now, in order to eat at the Storytellers Breakfast Lounge, they stop serving breakfast at around uh, 10 o'clock. And in our previous video, uh, I was surprising Angelica uh, I ordered the ticket somewhere around 5 or about maybe 6 a.m. And when I went on to the Disney app, which is where you have to go to make all your reservations, you can't uh, call in person, uh, I got blocked out. So it took me a while to get my credit card information and everything in there for whatever reason, I didn't accept it uh, the first time. So when I went back in uh, the second time to schedule the reservation, uh, it locked me out and I lost the original time for 7.45 a.m. However, I was able to go back into the system, uh, enter my credit card details. They did have that same booking information there and we were hightailing it down there as fast as we could. Now, I wasn't exactly sure of their policy. I tried to call and let them know that I would be a little bit late, uh, but we did arrive about maybe 30 minutes late and uh, they automatically removed me from the system. However, they when I walked up and spoke to the representative there, uh, the waitress at the Come counter, on, they added me back in the system. So thank goodness we did not miss out on that opportunity. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that you guys got a shorter video pretty much highlighting this iconic hotel. I'm not sure how old it is, but they have a nice spa here and it's probably second to none. But uh, I really love the area where this hotel is. Uh, you have Micro Center not too far away. You also have Knott's Berry Farm, Medieval Times. Obviously, you have Disneyland, which is right here. But I definitely believe that if you do decide to stay at this hotel, you are getting your money's worth. Now again, to reiterate, it is about 700 to about $1,000 a night, depending upon uh, when you stay. They have a kid's swimming pool, lots of fun, festive things for the kids, and everything is pretty much within walking distance. So if you're familiar with Anaheim, you have Bolero, you have the, uh, let's see, what is it, the Orange City, I forget what it's called, it's, the, it's where they have the bowling alley, the movie theater, and several other venues. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like the Orange City or the Outlet, something of that yeah, nature. So. Uh, all of that is in with either within walking distance or driving distance uh, from this venue. But again, we've really had a really nice time here. I just wanted to definitely spotlight this here on the channel so you guys can kind of get a, a shorter video so you can kind of see everything that's going on here. Uh, staying at the Storytellers when we went to the uh, to the to eat here. It was approximately uh, $120, not including any add-ons. And with the way they do their billing is uh, you pay for your two or three people, however many people you made your reservation for. They book it, but they don't charge you uh, as soon as you get there. You pay uh, at the I end like here. you would at any other typical Look, restaurant. Reason I asked them about that, I was like, hey, how come you guys don't just charge me You know what I put the reservation yeah, in? And they said, well, sometimes people put a reservation in for two, and then they bring in three or four more people, so they have to build accordingly. And then, of course, if you put add-ons on there, like additional coffee or whatnot, cappuccino, whatever the case might be, they charge you for that amount while you're there. So they obviously can't book all of that uh, with your reservation. But uh, the hotel there is really nice. Uh, we didn't get a chance to see any of the rooms. I think they may have been full. I can't remember exactly uh, what it is. But, you know, they have some fireplaces here. It definitely reminds you of a little Disney uh, area, you know, as far as... Uh, 
but you know it's really nice i mean i could tell this place is really new i haven't seen it before i haven't seen it uh, wasn't even on my radar in terms of hotels to stay i do admit that it is a little pricier now i was interested in staying at uh, the marriott or the hilton because i figured that's facing disneyland on the back side over there by the anaheim convention area and i thought it would be a lot easier if we stayed over there to manage the fireworks we could kind of see the fireworks show but however i think we would get a good view if we stay here i mean i definitely believe that this place is worth the money if you do have a family and you want them to come and stay here uh, without having to walk too far and again i'm really you know keen on being able to go to an amusement park now uh, instead of standing in line all day you want to make sure you get your money's worth that's kind of what we used to do back in the 80s and the 90s is go to Disneyland. You go there early in the morning and you're there late at night and then you're pretty much ran down. But in this case, you know, you can leave the park, go to your hotel, eat some dinner uh, at a nice <laughs> restaurant without having to feel rushed. And, you know, where it's not so crowded within the amusement park itself. Go back to your room, take a shower, take a nap for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then you get to go back to the amusement park, go back to Disneyland and have some fun. Because, you know, growing up, I really didn't think about that. You know, our parents would, you know, maybe spend about 30 minutes to an hour uh, driving to Anaheim. And you're standing in line all day. And then you're pretty much beat. You beat the crap. And then, you know, you have to drive home. But you're there from early in the morning till late at night. And it is, and it does take a toll on you. So, you know, for me, I think the new thing is, is to just stay at a nice hotel with everything in walking distance and just kind of pace yourself. You really don't have to do anything. But enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, again, we wanted to make sure we spotlight this uh, for those of you who are interested in traveling here. Uh, it is a recommended place. We can't wait to check it out ourselves. And we see you guys there. So until next time, we will catch you guys later. Hope you enjoy it. Peace out. Oh, there it is. So that's how you get through. Dang, this place is right here, honey. Really? <laughs> you just walk right out. Just... Okay, so next time. This is, this is closer than the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah, hi. Oh. Because the Disneyland Hotel, you still have to walk through. They're, they're attached right here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I was wondering if that was the park right behind us. Right? That's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, you're right here next to California Adventure. Oh, wow. Alright, let's go back around the other way. I had no idea they had this many around here. So they have a nice little area here for your pastries and candy. Mickey bars, the ice cream. Honey. I won't eat 40 of them like I did on the cruise. Save some for the other little kids. No.
what time is it? I don't know. I think like 10, 15, 10, 20. Okay, so we got about an hour. This is a nice okay. place. I'm surprised we haven't tried staying down here. Well. Oh, why don't you go check your reservations, find out how much it costs to stay here for a night. This is a nice place. If you notice, it's the busiest. Hey honey, so I imagine calling your sister and she answering the phone and she's we're standing right behind her. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How scary. Alright, you go check reservations, I'm gonna walk around. Okay, Hey, how much is the spa here? It's gonna be three to two hundred and fifty dollars. For one person? Yeah. Okay. What was that for like an hour? Oh, nice. Okay. We also offer facials, body treatments, manicures, pedicures, hair treatments as well. We offer our and beers for Oh, sweet. All right, thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy. All right, this is a nice place in here. It's amazing how many times you could drive by one of these places and never step foot. Cutie. Hi, handsome. Did you see the, the fireplace and stuff over there? And yeah, that's really nice. Did you see our cruise trip there? I did. So this hotel runs about, on average, $700 to about $1,000 a night to stay here. Uh, let's take a look. What is this? Is this the Fantasy or is this the new ship? Nope, Fantasy. The one that we went on. Oh, uh, is it? Okay, yep. it is a Fantasy. It's 
nice shit. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the hotel? I love it. I had no idea all this was in here. But everybody keeps talking about the Disney Hotel, and this one looks much better. It's probably more expensive, too. Okay, I thought it was playing it so hard. No, I thought it was like one of those pianos that presses the buttons. So I think if we kept heading this way, this would take us to Disneyland or downtown Disney. I'll see you here, Disney California Adventure. So let's walk down this way and see you. How far did we go? We already came from that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. Which way is the California, uh, the Disney, downtown Disney? Oh, it's this way. Yeah. This, this way? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Thanks. Oh, there it is over there, honey. You see it? downtown Disney. It's right straight ahead. So if we went out this door or we went this way. Hi. Yeah, honey, it's this way. See how they look, it's right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a monorail. <laughs> Dang, you can just come right here and park in. Yeah. See, honey, we're right here. Oh, like 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just walk in and walk right out. Oh, it's right here. Wow. I know. It's close, it's right here. It's closer than Disney Hotel. Okay. So.